I think so. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. Directing here. Going straight. Okay. You getting some? Oh wait, here. No, I know what to do. Yep, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got to get this. <sighs> there you go. Thank you, sir. Lay back a little. You go in. Get right this up. in here and I'll take you in deeper. Ready. How's that? I just I just okay, I'm gonna have to go to the other side now. We wanted to come in on this video and give a special thanks to today's sponsor, which is us. Yay. <laughs> Offgridlife.com. We have developed this new site where we're not only going to have all of our full episodes in 4K that you can watch from the very first one to the most recent one, but we're going to also have some extras at offgridlife.com. Like we're gonna post our episodes early to that site. It's a way you can support the channel, support our videos, feel like you're playing a role in the production of our off-grid video series, but at the same time, get a lot of perks like the special videos, the early access. If you're at offgridlife.com watching our videos, you're not gonna see ads. You're gonna be able to watch them all the way through and you won't be interrupted with ads. You can get into the site and browse to see how it's set up for free. So go check it out right now. The link is down below. The link's also in a card in the upper corner. Uh, it's Nicole's idea. What? <laughs> if you don't wanna pay anything, you can still watch YouTube for free. Uh, we're gonna keep the channel going, but we are gonna post early at offgridlife.com. We're gonna post extras at offgridlife.com and a lot more benefits coming up um, that you'll see if you're part of the squad that joins us um, at the site.
Ready? Here we go. You're holding on to me. I'm gonna go up there. You got it, far side? Yep. Hang on tight. Here we go. This one. Yeah, if I give you it to you, it's a you might pinch your fingers. Okay. Side Jen. Alright, what's the project we're working on? Uh we're so dependent on the seasons, right? So what's today? Today's the first day of fall. Whoop, whoop. The firewood we're gonna use to heat this house is all over there. And there's no shed because I can't carry all the wood to the yurt shed and then all the way back. And once the rain starts, it's over, right? Right. So we're trying to build the shed quickly and a big shed that can give us enough wood to go in the kitchen wood stove and the living room wood stove. Two wood stoves, cooking wood stove and family room wood stove. All right, put them in here. Dig, dig, dig like this. We go dig and then we go careful, gentle. We go, you do it. That's for compost. Okay. We're going to take that metal and use it for the roof. Perfect. It's sunny right now. This is the last sunny day for a while. Well, it's like a Pacific Northwest kind of sun. It's it very hazy. And... You want to show them? What did you just do? Show mom. Brush it off. Brush, brush, brush. It's in your pocket. So I don't know what I'm doing. So I'm just taking these large beams, all this wood, and I'm... Um, I'm notching the ends and we'll see if that works. So come along for the ride. I won't tell you much more and let's see if we can get it done today.
these um, caps from the milling process. Mm -hmm. Throw it on top, like this, like the flooring. And then all the wood will sit on top of that. Perfect. Awesome. Yeah, jump, jump, jump. Yeah, all right. There we go. Mm. Are you pretty good? <laughs> yeah. Grab that boy. <laughs> How's that look to you? Great. You think? Yes. Now at least these are in, so I'm not gonna fall. You know. I'm not gonna be able to shave all of it. Okay, Foxy, come here. Can you do this? Here, buddy. Pull the bark off. This one right here. Come here. Bark. Bark. Ah. Oh, Amy. Oh, wow. Fox, 
Nicole's being a real sweetheart. She's being the best mom ever, going back and forth from draw knife in and taking the bark off these guys to watching Fox. Um, what I'm doing is just working as hard as I can because um, we've been doing so many other projects and trying to be present for our family and not, um, not be too much a slave to our property. We wanna be there for Fox and for our little family we have growing, maybe a second baby coming sometime. And I think this uh, woodshed needs to be at least half filled to do uh, a full winter. And it's not like um, Alaska, where if you have firewood put aside, you know, the snow and the cold weather will dry it out. In our area, if uh, you haven't put your wood away by September 1, you're kind of effed because um, there's nothing that will dry it out until the following June. You know what I'm saying? And I'm taking all the metal that we cut off the container house and that's gonna be the shingled roof. And then I gotta put all the wood inside the shed by tonight. I would go forward more. What's that? I would go forward more. There's like a pretty big gap for you to reach. I would go forward. Alright. Alright. That looks pretty stable, yeah? <laughs> Alright, so let's see. That'll work, yeah. These are the things that I don't usually show on YouTube, like when I uh, reinforce everything, all this tedious stuff. I figure it's like redundant, so.
Hang. Yeah. <laughs> You're crazy. You crazy kid. Ready? Okay, Kenny. You do it. <laughs> Ready? Are you ready for the first uh, piece of wood here on this thing? Yep. Don't want to hit my head for the 18th time. It's been uh, three days now of rain and it hasn't leaked in here at all. I had tools out here, so now I'll clean it up and we'll get all that um, <coughs> racked and shelled here. Fox, put all this wood in the shed. I'm gonna go on break. Ba mu chai nage woman. Yeah, shang la. Yeah! <laughs> you wanna do more? Right there, that one. Ni kan mu chai, de ba. Ah, han juang, han juang. Ni kan la. Come here, bro. Cut right here. This one. Right here. This one. Cut it. Nice job. How da? How da? <laughs> He's working it. He's cutting and uh, chopping there. even pulled the cord. <laughs> yep. Put it up there. Shangla. Yep. Yeah. Nice job. <laughs> yeah.
Hey, went spear fishing yesterday and caught um, some really nice black rockfish. Found a section of really good cliffs under the water. I don't know, 50, 60 feet down that these guys were all swimming in just massive ones. Right here, I'm gonna get him. He's there again. I'm gonna get him.
All right, so now we got uh, some beautiful fish fillets here. And uh, we're not gonna eat these right now. We're gonna put them in vacuum seal them and put them in our freezer. Our freezer is powered by solar energy. And um, the one thing that we don't know how to do yet is like freezer bags. Like what do we do to vacuum seal and freeze fish um, if we don't want to use the plastic? Any suggestions, we'd love to have it. We could dry them out and smoke them. That's what we do with the smoker. As you saw in our most recent YouTube video, we use that for a lot of lingcod and salmon smoking, but let me uh, take these inside Nicole and I'll show you what she's doing to uh, vacuum seal them up. So there you go, pretty good, nice and clean. Thank you solar panels for the energy. Got the lithium battery charging the vacuum sealer here and what are you doing here, babe? Vacuum sealing the fish. What do you think that's doing? Is that helping it put, get preserved or what do you think? Yeah, it preserves it longer so we can freeze it and pull it out for when we want it for dinner. Yeah. Or lunch. Or a snack. looking really good. Does the floor look sturdy enough like it's gonna hold? Yeah it looks good. And then it's the heaviest it's ever gonna be right here because it still has some drying out to do and airflow, sun. Just for people watching you know we left it open in the front so the water runs off the back because that way is the sun so now sun can hit it, wind can pass through it and it's elevated but supported so that air can flow underneath it. See the left uh, the left side there? That's kitchen wood stove, and this is living room wood stove. So if what? you notice, I think that the chamber of the kitchen wood stove is going to be smaller than the flame view one we have now. So this piece of wood is for the living room, and this piece of wood is for the kitchen. See the height difference? Yeah. So left side kitchen, right side living room. How about you? Put it on there. Look, like this. Grab it. That big one. You want to do it together? Look. Let's do it together. Here we go. Grab this side. Yeah, come on. Come on, come on. Let's go, let's go. E our son. Whoa.
Let's go, Foxy. Let's go, Fox. Whoa, he's going so fast. Oh my gosh. Can he go that fast? <laughs> Whoa. Hey. That bike is getting some miles. Yeah, it is. Hey, move that rock for him. Taijian. Ah, uh, hey. Taijian. Give me a chin chin. Taijian. What's this for? Uh, cleaning the windows, cleaning around them so we can pop them. Yeah. While I uh, seal them up and caulk them, you can uh, razor blade scrape those stickers off of them. Well, I'm going to do a ladder angle on the other side. That's right. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> All right, and now we have a nice 11 inch board we made for free. We'll use this to complete our stairs here. A real two by four. So I got this little um, guy that I built with the rise and the run, and I'm just gonna trace out our, um, just gonna trace out our staircase on these stringers that I milled from the tree outside.
Babe, babe, stop messing around. Let's go. I'm on a time crunch here. Winter's coming. Let's go. Come on, babe. Whoa! <laughs> nice job. All right, now there's like one, two, three, four, five, six, six more to go. I'll come back later. Son, here we go. Anjo, Anjo, swing. Wow. <laughs> you can't see his face. Gosh. Yeah, all right. His pants are soaked from jumping in the puddles. <laughs> and when he swings, watch. I'll think... do a big swing. Here we go, big swing. Go. I think it already came all, oh. came all out. <laughs> Water in your boots. Okay. <laughs> oh, I gotcha. Yeah. You want to do it again? Okay, here we go. And go. Yeah. Oh. Come here. Come here. Come here. Yeah, it's the second string. We have two of them now. What do you think? Do you like it right here? How you like the uh, temporary stairs? They're nice. <laughs> they're, they're, they're manly. They're rough. <laughs> it's like a giant lives here. There's temporary. Yeah. You did it. All right. Yeah. Okay, Taijian. Taijian. You got it! You got it! Ooh, you heard the plane? Feiji! Feiji! Nishima, Feiji ma! Ah! Wow. What? I feel like that's such a boy thing. Like, what is he doing? Okay, kid. It's getting tons of dirt in his hair. What do you think? Is it uh, surviving? Is it surviving? Yeah, we've had it for a month or two, and it's been tough on us not being able to use it because it's so beautiful. Yeah, it's so beautiful. So what is this thing here? Our kitchen wood stove. <laughs> so we can actually 
have an oven inside. You guys saw us make a cob pizza oven over in the yurt, um, but that's outside. We don't have an oven inside. So this will be our oven plus our cooktop, all operated by wood. This thing is cool. I think um, not only for cooking, like you said, but um, just for warming this larger home, I think I have a lot of confidence that we can keep it dry and warm and livable in there with the living room wood stove and the kitchen wood stove. Yeah, and like how much sun is hitting the shipping container. Yeah, so even on cloudy days, you know, all that UV is still coming in where the yurt is in the shade all the time. Yeah. Look at the wood, um, look at the wood pile. It almost got filled up. I mean, the sun's hitting the wood. That's why I put it there and opened it up toward the sun. Yeah. So it's drying while it's in the shed. Um, also, I really want to light a fire in this right now to burn off some of that factory oil and stuff. Mm -hmm. So let's let's light it out here and see what happens. Okay. Okay. Fire. Hua. We sing hua. How's that smooth? Yeah. And then you would pull that off and then hang it up, I guess, and then... Yeah, it goes right here. Mm -hmm. Install a, a hook that they have here, so then you would hook it right here. That's two. Two more to go. <sighs> Wow, those look awesome. Yeah. Yeah, they look really great. That's gonna be the supports for the house. Yeah, we have four of them. 
they're reclaimed. They're all reused beams that then um, Victoria shipping containers, they welded for us to be the perfect size for her. Perfect. I mean, we got, I think two or three sunny days in a row. So all today I'm trying to do is just to get these four beams in here, which are real tough because I'm, I'm hurt, I'm dragging. Like my back and my wrists is just killing me. <laughs>